Hey guys, my name is Juliana Mejia and I want to thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I thought of um, going over some travel must-haves that I carry in my carry-on bag, my personal bag. Maybe I have certain tips that may help you that you never thought of. Or maybe you're just in the process of packing up and in a rush and probably skipped a few ideal things. I hope these tips are useful and let's get started. So to start off, I like to have like a little emergency kit, a little first aid kit on hand in my carry-on bag. Okay, so I went to Colombia in December for two entire months and my mom reminded me, take an extra change of clothes in case your suitcases don't get there. And I'm like, mom, it's not gonna happen because it never has. I've been going there since I was two years old and never ever have I not received my luggage with me. Happens to be that my mom jinxed it and uh, yeah, my suitcases didn't arrive for like two or three days after I got to Colombia. So of course, I had to borrow clothes or whatever, but this is definitely a really good point. So, you know, something light that you can roll up in your carry-on that won't take up too much room. I never thought it would happen. And of course, it happened this one time. So I will definitely listen to my mom's advice the next time. Hand sanitizer is a definite must. So what's cool is that I keep mine in a little holder that I just attach to the outside of my bag. So it's easy when I'm just on the go, put this on my shoulder and I'm out. So these little Ipsy bags that come in my subscription every month are perfect for carrying loose items just to, you know, have them all together. What I have in here are definitely band-aids. Like you have to always have this because you never know. You get a blister from walking. I'm known as the Mary Poppins where I can carry the most smallest bag in the world but I'll have anything you need. I've gotten car sick my entire life so I started taking Dramamin for it which work wonders. But I don't get motion sickness you know in a plane but you know how uncomfortable it is and especially for my long flights where I'm probably like going from Seattle to Miami and it's like six hours kind of. Um, taking Dramamine is very helpful because it is it makes you drowsy and you sleep really well and well at least in my case So obviously in an airport you're exposed to so many viruses so many sick people And so um, I like to carry around some airborne or not necessarily that but some vitamin C supplement Where I can you know just boost my immune system to kind of ward those bad things off So this is great and what's wonderful about these airborne tablets is that with just one they're just this size. They're like a big Tums tablet, but you just put them in a cup of water and they dissolve right away. And then of course some Tylenol or Advil is always handy in case you get a headache, not feeling too well. You are going on vacation anyway, hopefully, or even if it's for business or pleasure, whatever. It's good to just carry these in your bag just in case. Alka-Seltzer, you know, um, especially for those 21 and over and going on vacation, um, you may have a crazy night out and will feel not too well the next morning. So having Alka-Seltzer at hand and not having to go to the pharmacy, this is definitely helpful. Eye drops, okay? I have horrible um, seasonal allergies, that's why I always carry these. But besides that, in an airport, the air can really dry out your skin and your, irritate your eyes. Taking eye drops are really handy as well. When I'm about to go on a trip, I like to have my nails done, so I'll prep them before I leave. But of course, running through the airport, going through the gates, lifting your carry-on and blah blah blah, your nails, or I guess my nails, get disastrous. So carrying a nail file is a lifesaver when it comes to that. And lastly in my first aid kit is a pair of scissors. So many times I buy something or I'm at the hotel and you know, you just need to like cut something. All right, next up is my little like personal um, care kit that I keep in my carry-on as well. So of course these trips you're running around and you don't want to like get to your destination smelling all funky so deodorant is definitely in my bag. But besides that I want to smell extra good even. Um, I carry a little rollerball perfume which is super handy and I'll just use this for the rest of my trip. I won't take an extra bottle because it's not necessary. And if you're not the type to carry your toothbrush in your carry-on, I definitely take mouthwash so when I'm you know using the restroom I'll definitely use some of this to freshen up. And I have a great problem where my hands have always been super, super dry. And managing my luggage, again, they get even drier. So having a little hand lotion, I definitely need in my handbag. A comb. This is super cute because it comes in a little pouch that I got from Victoria's Secret. I want my hair to be looking as good as it can be while I'm, you know, trekking away on the airplane. So I definitely take this. It's said that airplanes suck out all the moisture in the air and it really dries your skin. But in my case, my skin gets extra oily. So carrying these um, oil absorbing sheets are great because I'm still wearing my makeup but just using these and blotting my face really helps with the excess oil so I don't look shiny and gross. 
hair ties, hair ties, hair ties, hair ties. Like having hair in your face can definitely get in the way. So I like to carry a little clip and some extra hair ties. And the cool thing about this is that so that they're not all loose and getting lost, I put them in these little binder clips. And so it's perfect because they're just there. All right, and so baby wipes or feminine wipes are great to have as well because sometimes you just don't know if your flight is delayed or however long you're gonna take. So this is good to just freshen up in case you just can't get to the shower, you know, as soon as you want to. And then ultimately, I definitely need to have chapstick in my bag. Like my skin gets so oily, but my lips and my hands are just ugh. Crusty. I use soft lips because it's super cute and thin and it smells great but it leaves your lips just like the name soft lips so I really like this and it's super cheap you can find it literally anywhere Walmart Target any grocery store you'll find these but for those of you that get free samples from like ordering on Ulta or Sephora.com or you get those samples even in magazines like I do I like to always you know keep these in a little bag and then um, check out what I can use for my trip they take up much less space and just to like get rid of them because they've just been stored in my room somewhere and not going to use. Another thing that I found that you could definitely take in your carry-on and avoid taking more liquid is this Biore facial cleansing scrub and it's cool because it's made out of baking soda and with just a quarter size amount of the powder um, you activate it with just a little bit of water and it's a great scrub and I really liked it. My face has actually been clearing up a lot with this. So water is apparently really expensive when you buy it at the airport so I like to take my empty water bottle and uh, fill it up once I pass the security checkpoint. So of course this is saving you some bucks and so you can keep hydrated and all that good stuff. This is ultimately a must have. This is a portable phone charger or whatever charger, but definitely invest in one of these because you're out on vacation too and you're taking pictures and sending texts and everything and your battery is just draining super quickly. This is great to have. I like to keep a little notebook or journal. You can never go wrong with that, you know, jotting something down when you don't have your cell phone with you or it's uncharged. So definitely, um, I always take that with me. I love taking this passport holder. It's a perfect document holder, so I don't have to take my um, entire wallet with me. It has these little slots where you can just put your um, go-to credit cards and your ID and all that stuff. And then this other little slip where you can hold your boarding pass, which I think is super cute and handy because instead of just shoving papers into pockets in your bag and everything, having everything in one place is perfect because it'll save you a lot more time and um, keep you away from stress. So definitely a little passport book like this is really great for your documents. So you also save some bucks at the airport because everything is so like ridiculously overpriced. Um, stocking up on some good snacks just to keep your energy up and everything. So I love taking these like dried mangoes because they're just delicious. I definitely carry um, at least one pair of sunglasses. And something I recently discovered is um, in my last flight you just set your sunglasses upside down on the serving tray and you rest your phone and it's a perfect little stand so you can watch your movies or whatever and um, I just thought that was a super cool trick. I like keeping things that are you know similar in the same bag so I'll store this in my little electronics bag so I have my cell phone charger in here my laptop charger and it's just easy to access you're not rummaging through your bag trying to find something so it's easy to locate okay and lastly um, I'm not taking this with me but I'm just showing you how I store them but I have all my little dust bags that I've received from you know purchasing uh, purses or shoes so I always keep those because they're great to store your delicate clothes in so that they don't get caught and ruined in your luggage and I also put in my shoes because if they're not brand new shoes of course um, I don't want them to get my other clothes dirty they also serve as you know a little laundry bag so if you don't if you're not going to take the plastic bags definitely use one up and you just rewash them and you're good to go okay so I believe that's it I think I covered pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys I really hope you took some good advice from me today if there's anything that I'm missing and could definitely help me out I would love to hear from you let me know so if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below i really appreciate your support thank you again so much and i hope you have a wonderful day all right until next time besos bye Tico. okay so for that extra pop of color i found this really neat pink shrub that is not a succulent but it still requires very little water and i love